money and they're concerned about quality of product because I think I mean obviously you're putting on badass fights don't get me wrong on that but I think they're so worried about making a ton of money that some of their cards are starting to be questionable you know what I mean here and there I mean it's going to happen a shitty card is going to happen sooner you know sooner or later a shit card is going to happen but I just I, I think that it's kind of going in that direction to where unless, cha- unless they change the way they do things I don't know man just just speculation but I think uh, what they're going to do though just a quick point on it obviously take all the good guys out of you uh, out of WEC bring them over here and there's going to be a lot of cuts going on with UFC and WEC they're going to be unifying titles you're going to get that many more stacked fights which that's the part I love about it the part I don't like is they're going to be cutting a lot of fighters man because some of the guys that are you know kind of the middle of the middle of the road you know what I mean are, are going to get cut you know, and they, it might be really, there's going to be a lot of really unfair cuts. So, which could be a good thing, because maybe a lot of them guys can find, uh, you know, a good career in Dream or a good career in Strike Force. So we might see a lot of that, too, you know, heading over, you know, jumping ship to Dream or uh, heading over to Strike Force. Could be a really good thing when it comes to that. So, I don't know, we'll see, man. I'm liking the idea, but at the same time, uh, it's going to be tough for a lot of fighters, because I know a lot of fighters... Might not make the cut somewhere else, but going to whack it down to one. You know what I mean? They're paying for double the fighters. They're going to whack that down to, you know, 150% of the fighters rather than 200%. You know what I mean? So I think we're going we're to see a lot better fights, but at the same time, we're going to see a lot of a lot of dissatisfied fighters, you know, in, in, the, in the MMA world. Which right now, it, it, right now it's cutthroat, man. It really is. But uh, I don't know, man. We will see. Uh, we will see some good shit, though. I'm just hoping that Strike Force can keep a good show going on here, and don't way in the future, don't get bought out by UFC. I hope it's just a different enough show that we're, you know, cause I, obviously for the fight game, it's big enough for the both to, to stay. And it's better for the fighters too because you don't have a, uh, okay, we're UFC, we're the only big one out, you know, and you're screwed. This is what we're going to pay you or you can go somewhere else and make half or whatever, you know what I mean? Any gamers out there, I don't know if you guys, uh, you know, get into, um, you know, the UFC, you know, MMA games. Uh, they're good. You know what I mean? I'll say as a, you know, just a straight up MMA game, they're good. Um, in my opinion, though, I, I got kind of bored. I wouldn't say bored. Things started getting kind of repetitive and kind of boring, you know, after a couple of months of playing UFC 2009. I didn't get 2010 because I heard it was just kind of, it's the same thing that THQ did with, does with their wrestling games. You know what I mean? They add a few things in, you know what I mean? Just, oh, you're going to buy it because you want those few extra little things that are added in. They do it each year when they could be just making, you know, revamping a whole, you know, it could be just taking a, a certain name and making it a much better game. They want to do it slowly, you know. Eh, we'll give you a little bit here, you know, a little bit next year, a little bit next year, you know, and they ride it out. Well, EA MMA, I'm going to go ahead and say it, man. EA MMA is miles ahead of, of either of them games, in my opinion. Um, what they did was they, you know, just the, the way that you do moves and you do submissions, stuff like that, is so much further ahead of uh, the UFC games, you know, the THQ games. And what, I, what I'm doing right now is I'm comparing THQ and EA. I'm not comparing UFC to whatever, to whatever, Strike Force or, 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 you know what I mean? Because that's pretty much where they get their fighters from, Strike Force, Dream, you know, and select a few others. But uh, I'm not comparing the fighters or the, or the organizations. What I'm, what I'm comparing is THQ to EA, and which already right there, with that in mind, THQ versus EA, I mean, hands down, EA is going to win. I mean, EA, EA is, that's, that's their forte is making sports games. And... So they're, in that point, they already had their work cut out for them. You know what I mean? It's pretty much, just to let you guys know, any gamers out there that, you know, are, are into fights as well, it's kind of you know, kind of loosely based on the uh, fight night system. When you're standing up, um, you're doing punches and punches and kicks with the uh, analog stick, the right analog stick. And obviously you're modifying and stuff like that with the shoulder buttons. Um, and when you get down on the ground, you know what I mean, you have to kind of, you know, watch your watch your button pressing and stuff like that. It's not it's not a, a button race or button mashing. Um, you got to do it timely. You know, it's not a time thing either. You know, you got to give it a burst and back off, otherwise you're gonna wear your stamina out. That kind of a deal. But it is a badass game. I love it, man. I love it. it I, I bought 2009, UFC 2009. I thought THQ either kind of did a, a mediocre job at it or they rushed it or something. You know, which could could be possible. You know, UFC might have pushed them. Hey, hey, we need to get this out and get it moving, get the marketing going on and all that. You know what I mean? Who knows? But EA, 
top notch, man. It's a badass job, and I, and I really hope I got wind that they might not continue making uh, MMA games. I really hope that they change their minds because now that the game's out, I'm really starting to see a lot of advertising on it. It's like if they'd have blown this up before the game came out, it's like I think the game would have did a lot better in its first week of sales because it's like after I got the game when it first came out, and we're, we're barely a week and a half, you know, after the game came out, you know, but. They said, well, we're, we're not really sure because the first week of sales weren't, didn't really, did really poorly or whatever. So we're not sure we're going to do another MMA game. And I thought, well, that freaking sucks because you didn't even give you're, you're only a week out. You know, you didn't even give it enough time. I'm hoping they're going to, because they dump more money into it, in advertising the game, stuff like that. So I'm hoping that's going to have an impact. The game's going to sell more, and they're going to change their minds on continuing making games. I'm telling you right now, it's going to hammer fucking THQ as far as playability, replaying, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I just, I really don't think it's ever going to get that old. You know what I mean? I just, I really don't. It's not stripped down. And another key point about it, it's badass. There is a column in the menu that says fighter share. What you do is you go online. Uh, one, one drawback, which I think, I believe UFC, I, I, I believe has the same thing. I'm not sure. But, um, it has online features that you do have to pay for. It kind of sucks. But, um, and I don't know, I don't know how much it is, but you get a limited amount of time. I think you get one week to check out the online features, and then you have a code on the back of your, your whatever directions book, a code on the back of your book that where you enter that code, I think you get a free month. But check out the fighter share. And what it is, is basically I got Brock Lesnar in the game, which Brock Lesnar's not in the game. What it is is you can create a fighter and upload him to the server for anybody else to download. You know, you do the stats, you, you do the face, the, you know, the look and everything. There's some fighters on there that are pretty top-notch. I mean, they got a... a uh, I found uh, Chuck Liddell. I found, uh, like I said, Brock Lesnar, uh, Shane Carwin, uh, BJ Penn, they, and they all look good too. Man, they all look pretty good. But uh, there, there's a bunch of other ones too that I, I don't remember right offhand. But uh, it's a great game, though, man. If you, got, if you guys are into gaming at all, anybody out here likes uh, you know gaming and fighting, and you want to mix the two, it's a perfect way to go. It's EA, EA Sports MMA. Um, EA MMA is is probably I, I think I don't think that uh, UFC's game is ever going to be better because. I don't know, man. I, I don't know. I just, I think UFC made a mistake by going with THQ, just my opinion. You know, are they bad games? No, they're not bad games. I think there's some repetitiveness and some, some things about it that they could have done better. We'll see, man. We'll see. You know, I mean, it, it, it's video games. So, I mean, it, it could could be the same same bullshit over and over each year. It could could get a lot better if you decide to go with somebody else. Who knows? Um, I also want to let people know, any local bands out there, you guys want to get your stuff heard, stuff seen, stuff like that. Not seen, but, excuse me. Get your music heard. Um, take an MP3, MP3 format only, just so you know. Um, bring it down to about five, six megabytes, because that'll work on Hotmail, and send it to me. You know, little little bio, little short paragraph of what you guys are about, where you're from, that kind of thing, and uh, I'll play it on Blog Talk Radio. Because what we do is we take probably, on average, maybe three, four breaks, you know, in a two-hour show or something like that. We take breaks, so bring your, uh, bring your, you know, send me your song, and I'll be happy to play it, man. Lately, we've been generating about 300 listens a month. So, anywhere from 50 to 300 people are going to hear your song in a, month, in a month's time. So, and I'm looking to get, you know, I got a few already, but I'm looking to get, you know, a good uh, rotation of songs so I can play, you know what I mean? A good four or five songs in a night, you know what I mean? So, anyhow, just letting you guys know, any local unsigned bands, I don't care where you're from, man. I don't care if you're from freaking Germany and you can speak English. Send me a song, man. I'll play it on here. You know, or excuse me, on Blog Talk. So. Uh, it's a free way to get your stuff heard, man. Um, I'll do, you know, I'll run down the bio, you know, the bio on you guys, so people know where where to find you. Uh, a little, little quick uh, point I want to make on uh, Brock Lesnar off his uh, recent loss to Cain Velasquez. It's a pretty interesting fight, man. You know, watching Brock, watching Brock basically do the same thing he did with Shane Carwin, except Cain Velasquez picked the shots clearly. You know what I mean? He did, did what he had to do, pick his shots. He wasn't going to gas out. I mean, the guy's in top condition, you know. Um, obviously, you know, I mean, even if Kane were to have, you know, a possibility of uh, lactic acidosis, he probably was watching out for that because of the uh, Shane thing. You know, I don't know. Just a, just a thought. But um, kind of uh, something I've been thinking about. I, I got to wonder, you know, I'm, I'm thinking maybe what's next for Brock? You know what I mean? Coming off this nasty loss, you know, what? what I'm kind of thinking, you know what? It'd be interesting to put on, you know, now that, as far as I'm concerned, Brock's exposed, man. I mean, as much as he's learned in the, whatever it is, two and a half, two and a half years he's been here, 
two and a half, three years. He's been here. He's learned a lot. He's only got a five and two record, man. I mean, that's still got a lot to learn. You know what I mean? He's had to learn early, everything he knows. He's had to learn at an accelerated rate. You know what I mean? He's got to, you know, being a champion, you, you've got to learn how to how to defend the belt. And <clears throat> it's too much work on somebody that has that little of uh, experience. You know, I think if we get a really good experience fighter in there, you know, he's got a hell of a record, a lot of experience under his belt, good well-rounded fighter, Kane might have a hard time. You know what I mean? Kane's Kane's got a um, he looks pretty damn promising though. I mean, he. he Lester, man, I mean, pretty, fairly easily, you know what I mean? The guy walked out, barely broke a sweat, not a scratch on him. But uh, just as far as future matches go, I thought, who would you give him first, you know? They both lost to Brock Lesnar before, so who would you give him first? Would you give him the Shane rematch, you know? Brock and Shane, too. I mean, who wouldn't buy that? I'd be all over that, you know what I mean? Uh, Shane's got his chance to, you know, avenge that loss, that only, that only one loss, you know what I mean? So... Same with Frank Mir. They're going to pair him up with Frank Mir again. You know what I mean? I just, I don't know. I think Mir's in a funk lately. I think if Mir went in there, you know, worked on his boxing, worked on, you know, worked on a hell of a take, a hell of a sprawl. You know what I mean? Really worked on a good sprawl, some good takedown defense, submissions. If he does get on his back, you know, work on your submissions because he didn't, he, I don't know. I don't want to say he didn't work on them, but it didn't look like he worked on them to me in their, you know, Brock's second match. I don't really, you know, I don't know. I guess, I don't know. I guess Frank Mir just ain't that good when he's got, you know, 280 pounds sitting there. <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, it's just a thought, man. You know what I mean? What's going to be next for Brock Lesnar? You know what I mean? So, I don't know, man. I think the future is, uh, kind of 50-50 for Brock, man. I, I don't, I don't, like I could really, I, I don't want to say, oh, it's up from here yet. You know, you, you never know. I mean, I mean, obviously in this game, you know what I mean? Never, anything could happen. You know what I mean? I didn't expect the Kane match. I didn't expect Kane to win. I mean, I was with you. You know, I, I thought there was that little chance, but I thought, hey, you know, Maybe Kane can get it, you know what I mean? I thought it was more like a 70-30, 60-40, you know, in favor of Brock, you know? But, Kane fooled me, man. Kane fucking beat his ass. There's some funny news I just found out. Uh, Kimball Slice apparently is going to be take, uh, going to be uh, participating on the next uh, Survivor. I thought that was kind of funny. Also heard through the grapevine, this is a while ago, actually. A lot of you probably heard this too, but possibly looking into going into boxing. I thought that was a bit ridiculous because... His wrestling looked better than his boxing did, because his chin wasn't all that great. Um, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a, um, a Kimbo hater. But I'm not a huge Kimbo fan either. I'd, I could take him or leave him, really. You know what I mean? But uh, I just thought it was interesting, though, him uh, him going into boxing, thinking that he can, you know, he could barely go three rounds or four rounds. You know, how's he expecting to go ten? You know, or, or what have you? I don't know, man. Hopefully, he gets him with, with, the, with the right trainers, and the trainer can show him how to improve his chin or something. <laughs> I don't know. Good luck to you, man. Good luck to you, because uh, you're going to have a little much better luck in the fight game than you are in boxing. So, Because um, that's the only thing that's going to be happening. People are going to punch you in the face. So I think he'll be 0-6 before he, before things look good, but I don't know. Whatever. But uh, Ryan Bader, this is uh, pretty much set up for UFD 126. I just thought this was an interesting fight. Ryan Bader is going to be fighting John Jones. I don't know if you guys saw Ryan Bader's last fight against Big Nog, or excuse me, Little Nog. Uh, Ryan Bader didn't look that great in that fight. I think John Jones is going to chop Ryan Bader in friggin' half. I like Ryan Bader. I, I, I liked him throughout, you know, since he's been in UFC. You know what I mean? I've, I've, I've liked what he's been doing until I saw him fight Little Nog. And Little Nog got robbed in that fight. I, Little Nog should have won that fight. But, I don't know. I don't know, man. I think between Ryan Bader versus Little Nog and Martin Kamen versus Jake Shields, there's some plans that they don't want uh, a judge's decision getting in the, in the way of. I don't know. Something seems fishy to me. To, to me, when it comes to those two fights, something's fishy to me. But anyway, I don't know. I, I, obviously, I can't put my finger on it. I can speculate all day, all day, all day, all day long. But something just ain't right with those two fights. The, the judges are on freaking heroin. You know, the funniest thing I thought thought of, too, was the judge, the one judge that picked uh, Martin Cameron to win that fight was Cecil Peoples. Usually, he's the worst judge. You he was the judge with a brain in that fight, the only one. Shane Carlin is heading into surgery. <clears throat> Apparently, uh, November 2nd is his uh, surgery date. So, I don't know, man. What about you guys, man? That bums me out. He's got to pull out of his, uh, which, talking about that, I could segue right into uh, Mirko Krokop said that he's just beside himself, just just 